Just a friendly reminder, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. So currently still trying to repair this bad boy. One of the battery terminals decided that it was going to disconnect itself, so I had to bust out the bootleg solder and iron. So in the meantime, while that gets heated up, I already have the pendulum back in place. I have the screen back in place. I am trying something that I hope will work. Because the screen has a little bracer at the back of it to keep it in line with the board. But I put that in the front. Hopefully it's not too visible. Well, you can't see it at all right now. But I put it in the front as a means to keep the screen pushed against the motherboard. So that it makes proper contact. Because that was the issue I was having. The um, screen wasn't making proper contact with the motherboard itself. So I got to be careful because I don't want to apply too much pressure because I don't want to shatter the screen. I'm not even in a screw post, am I? No, I'm not. This thing's just free spinning. Let's get you out of there. Ooh, that seems like it's going to be... Yeah, it's too much of a space. So I'm going to rewind. I hate taking this off again, but I have to. So you can see what I tried to do there. I tried to use this little piece to brace it so that I push forward, but it's not working. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it back where it was. I'm just going to clean the contacts. Just give me a moment. I've returned with a Q-tip. Just going to give the contacts here a light brush. Unfortunately, I don't have any isopropyl alcohol, but uh, hopefully that will clean the contacts enough so that uh, it can make contact. So yeah, that was like that. I wonder why it came off. I'm like, do I have to, because it doesn't look like it's soldered. It looks like it was just on there. Because I don't really want to have to put heat to this. So that, because I don't want to damage it, because like it's not like I could just find run-of-the-mill replacements. All right, let's get everything situated the way it's supposed to. Hopefully, I did not mess this up beyond repair. That's obviously going to come out, so I'm just going to slot it in here where it goes. Now I'm going to place this down inside. Trying to align everything so that it goes where it's supposed to. That will come up. Can I get this in one piece? Yes, sir. Very awkward angle for this, but uh, as you see, I'll put in the medium long 
Phillips head screw. Oh, come on, it came up. Medium long screw goes into that post. Carefully use your screwdriver to bring this. You want to align it so that the it hooks the top. There we go. Pendulum's back in working order. Uh, I'm going to screw the rest of the motherboard back in before I even attempt to solder anything. See, now I'm nervous to take apart the D-Power because I don't want to mess, mess up as badly as I messed up here. I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that it's as simple as what I did, just uh, cleaning and refastening, because the screen still works. It just doesn't look like it was making proper contact. Like, worst case scenario, I might have to buy some 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol so that I can actually clean the contacts better. Or maybe get something that I could stick in front of the screen that won't obstruct the screen that will raise the screen a little bit so that I can make pressure. Although I am going to take a look to see if, because um, I have this one, right? After I'm done my walkthrough, I want to see if I could actually swap this screen in with this one because... This one, this one has black edges around it, as you saw when I was taking it apart, but this one doesn't. And even if it did, you wouldn't be able to see it because this one does have a big screen as well. It's just hidden by behind the bezel here. So I'm hoping that if the screen is compatible, I can just swap it out. And then uh, this one will look brand spanking new and that one, nobody will ever know the difference. Just remember, slow and steady wins the race when uh, dealing with electronics. Always want to be careful. Never over tighten. Probably going to get one of those magnetic mats so that I can just... We don't have to worry about screws going all over the place. Gonna make sure those ones are snug because I want the screen to have pressure applied to it because it seems like that's how those screens are held in place. Come on. Big screw here. This button goes back here. It doesn't want to be rude. Reset button. Well, no, I'll do the reset button after. Now comes the very delicate part. Always be careful when you're working with soldering iron because you don't want to burn yourself. I've done it on multiple occasions. Now it seems like I actually have to, hmm, bear with me for a second.
I just want to make sure that some of this wire gets exposed. Because we need to make a good contact. Always be careful when using knives as well. Okay, I'm confident in that. Okay, now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna gonna try to I'm gonna heat this up. Then I'm gonna try to quickly get everything put into place. But hold on. I think it would work better if I did this. So I'm gonna, don't wanna have my thumb too close. Oh, gotta get rid of the plastic. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully the connection is solid enough. I'll probably go in later and try to do a better joint. All right. Set button in place. Sandwich in before I tighten anything. Moment of truth. Okay. I am satisfied with that. Now to finish up from the last video. This goes. Oh wow. That goes there. That goes here. Ah oh, man. Okay. Got ahead of myself. Gotta gonna carefully. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, those two pieces snap together like so. One in the front, one in the back. Three screws on this side.
two screws on the other. just to double check excellent now I never since I'm not using it right now I'm gonna take these out I never store these with batteries in them unless I'm using them because if they explode that's messy to clean like isopropyl alcohol will do the trick, but still, it's, it's gross. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe for more content in the future. And I will see you next time. <laughs>